All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises and all honor and all glory unto my power, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem and Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world even calls God, and Yahweh Shai is who this world even calls Jesus. And the Rechak Radash is the Holy Spirit in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue. And I also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that teach well. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashim al Shai will show his mercy upon. In these last days, and I'm the brother, my Ike Gabar, from the GMS West Palm Beach Church. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai, hopeful elect. All right, and this lesson, you know, is going to be short, uh, straight to the point. Um, you know, this lesson is going to be concerning um, sin, and did the Lord really come to do away with sin? All right, and that's. Um, you ask your average Christian, all right, that question, they're going to say uh, that the law has been done away with, all right, but contrary to popular belief, that is completely false, all right, and we're going to get, uh, you know, just a few scriptures um, to prove that, so let's go here to Matthew 5 and verse 16, it's uh, Matthew 5 and 17, Salakia. It says, uh, Matthew 5 and 17, think not that I am come to destroy the law, right? So the heavenly father, through his only begotten son, all right, Yahweh Shah came not to destroy the law, you know? Why would the Lord do away with the law? The law was perfect, all right? The fault was with us, right? Continuing on, and it says, um, Think not that I'm come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. All right? So the the Lord didn't come to to do away with the law, to destroy it. All right? He came to fulfill. All right? Because prior to that, you know, uh, our people was, was sinning. So Yahweh Shai, he came in the flesh. All right? And he walked perfectly in the flesh. So now Yahweh Shai is our um, role model. Or he's our prototype of how to of how to conduct ourselves when we in the flesh. You see? Because Yahweh Shah, he he dealt he dealt with the same, you know, things that we went through. I mean that that we go through. Alright. He was enticed to sin, you know. He was um battling the spiritual demon Satan spiritually. Alright, you read uh back uh Matthew the fourth chapter, you know, start at the top. You know, Yahweh Shah, he was um how uh Satan was trying to uh, get Yahweh Shai to go off, all right? But how did Yahweh Shai uh, win that fight, all right? Uh, through the scriptures, all right? Hey, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, all right? But mighty through Yahweh Shai for the pulling down the strongholds, you know? So now we have the scriptures, all right, to lean upon, all right? We got the Holy Spirit, all right? Yahweh Shai said he would not leave us comfortless. So as we're battling um, the spirits of demons, Satan, you know, we got to combat, you know, Satan with the scriptures like Yahweh Shai did, you know, because thoughts, evil thoughts going to come in your mind, you know, that flesh is going to try to come and creep up, you know, like on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath, you might be horny, you know, your woman or, 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 or some chick that you're dealing with might want to get down with you, trying to get down with you, you know, but that's Satan. Uh, using that woman to try to get you to go off, you know, but you got to remain in the spirit, right? Hey, that's, that's why the scripture says walk in, uh, in the spirit, you know, and not in the flesh, all right? Because this flesh, all right, reaps corruption. So that's why we constantly got to be in the spirit, all right? It says in the book of Joshua uh, 1 and 8, it says meditate on the laws day and night, all right? And that's the way that you have good success, you know? So continuing on uh, with verse 18, it says, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. So not even 
one jot, not even one little dot, okay, did the Lord um, do away with, okay? And you ask, you know, uh, your average Christian about, um, when you start talking about laws, you know, and, and, they, and they like, man, the Lord not going to kill me, you know, for just for smoking a little bit of weed, you know? It ain't like I'm killing nobody. It ain't like I'm uh, out here uh, being a murderer or uh, stealing or lying, you know? But, hey, that's why the scripture says in Isaiah 55, I believe that's seven or eight, can't remember. Um, but it says the Lord thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways. You know, so the Heavenly Father doesn't think like um, you mere mortals, you know? But that's why you gotta, <laughs> that's why you gotta evolve to the mindset of a God, okay? Because we fell away from that, from that, um, from that great estate. But now, Yahweh Shemal Shai, all right, he's raising up his his true men and they coming back to the ways of our forefathers, all right, to the, to the ways of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know? thinking like a like a god again you know hey the, the book of psalms says ye are gods but you shall die like men and how do we die through sin you know sin is our kryptonite and that's why this present world pushes nothing but sin this is romans 6 and 23 it says for the wages of sin is death right what's first john 3 and 4 it says for the wages of I me mean, uh sin is a transgression of the law you know, so that's that's what sin is. It's transgression of the law. OK, and when we continue, we just when we continue the sin, what follows after that death? OK, and that's why you see in our people, OK, um, dying at the rate that they're dying at, you know, whether it's a car accident, whether they getting shot, you know, whether they getting gunned down by these by these police officers. Whether um, they dying of cancer or lupus or diabetes, all right, that's the result of of sinning. When you continue to sin, death. All right, it says, but gift, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through our Lord Yahweh Shai Amashiach. Right, so Yahweh Shai, he's the way, you know, and we gotta follow after the path of Yahweh Shai. Now, can we be perfect like the Lord was? No. Nah. But we're striving for perfection, okay? Each day that you wake up, you should try to become a better creature, a better vessel for Yahweh by Shema Shai. all right? Because um, sin is what draws us away from Yahweh by Shema Shai. you know? And this is why Esau Edom, the so-called white man, this is why he pushing sin onto our people, you know? Lobster, you know, you got red lobster. If this was a righteous world, red lobster wouldn't be here. Pork wouldn't be sold, okay? Shrimp, all right? These abominable foods. But we live in, in the shadow of death, okay? Let's go here real quick. This is James 4 in verse 8, and it reads, Draw nigh unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and he will draw nigh to you. So how do we draw nigh to Yahweh Bashim al Shai? All right, Hosea 5 and 15 it says, The Lord, he hid his face from us. You know, so now we trying to get back in good graces with Yahweh Shema Shai. All right, repenting, you know, coming back to the ways of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, trying to walk uh, perfectly as we can in this flesh, you know, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. All right, the book of Judges 5 and 11 says, rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. You know, so we, we're, we're, we're trying, you know, and that's what the Lord is looking for. You put in your your best foot forward, you know? And there's no fooling Yahweh Shemal Shai, all right? The Lord knows your thoughts, you know? He knows your intents of the heart. Continuing on, it says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. All right, so you gotta cleanse your hands from this wickedness, you know? You was smoking weed, you stopped that shit, all right? You was uh, um, smoking vapes and cigarettes and black and miles, you stopped. Getting lineups, you stop doing that. You getting tattoos, you stop doing that. You know, start keeping the ways of, of, of old. You know, not not celebrating uh, Halloween and, and and Thanksgiving and July Fourth and Christmas. All those are pagan customs. You know. So um, let's go back here and um, bring 
pretty much close out with this again. This is Matthew 5 and 19, and it reads, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. All right, so these false prophets got a harsh judgment coming to them because they're telling you it's okay. God going to love you anyway. All right, the scripture says in um, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach 12 and 6, that the Most High, he hated sinners, you know? And the Lord is going to repay vengeance unto the ungodly. You know, so these false prophets are leading you unto damnation. They're leading you unto death. Okay? And it says, He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. All right? So we, we're trying to be called great in the kingdom. All right? We're trying to be of the Lord's first, first fruits. All right? When Yahweh Shah comes, we want the Lord to say, Good job, my faithful servant. You know? But these, these false prop prophets, these celebrities, you know, they're going to be coming back in the kingdom with shame and everlasting contentment, you know? So that was it. Just wanted to put that out there. All right. I had a conversation with a uh, particular individual today, you know, about, uh, you know, keeping the law. And uh, actually, I brought out this scripture for him, you know, and through the spirit, he received it. All right. Lord willing that our brother repents. All right. And the Lord, uh, you know, guide them to the 100 percent truth. So with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praises, all honor and all glory to my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that teach well. also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashem al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And the Wadi Al Bashem al Shai for giving me the spirit of truth. The Wadi Al Bashem al Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit. The Rechak Wadash to make this lesson. Lord's willing, unto the next lesson. I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. DTA, Kwam Yashallah, Shalom.